Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you my first replay in the Achilles play. This is actually going to be my first ever game in the tank. And what that means is, I had enough to get the first upgrade for free. And the first upgrade on the Achilles is a 17 pounder gun. But it's not the good 17 pounder. You've got 144 standard pen and 177 premium, I believe. I might be a bit off. So basically, the premium pen on this tank is actually only just better than the standard rounds of the good 17 pounder. So what I did was, is, that gun doesn't, isn't good enough, especially if I had to fight tier 8. So I've activated an XP booster, and if I can win this game with the times 2 daily double for the win and the XP booster, I'll be able to get the good gun after one game. Now as you can see, Wargaming weren't very kind to me, because not only have I got basically the stock gun, um, with terrible penetration, they've made me bottom tier. So I'm having to fight tier 8. Now, not only am I having to fight tier 8, I'm going to fight a lot of tier 8 heavy tanks, including an Oho and a Mauerbracker, which, with this gun, they couldn't really have picked any worse tier 8 for me to fight. So, that's going to be an issue. Um, and, to be fair, maybe activating the, the uh, XP boost wasn't very good, because as we all know, the moment you activate an XP boost and roll the tanks, everything goes wrong. So... Main thing in this game is, the stockade will be an issue as well, because 177 pen cannot go through the front of them, meaning I cannot even pen their lower plates frontally. I'll only be able to pen them in the side. And obviously, things like the Achilles, it's kind of similar to the Hellcat in that it's got slow turret traverse, so it's not really made for flanking people. Or at least, not made for circling people, should I say. Now, the other thing to know about the Achilles is that, compared to the Archer Tier 5 that gets 7.5 to get the gun depression, this thing gets 5, which is not great. Um, now, I use lots of tanks to get gun depression, T-54 and T-62A, for example, but when you're used to having gun depression, and then you just instantly drop again, it's quite strange. And then the weird thing is, when you go up to Tier 7 at Challenger, you get 10 degrees back, so quite weird with the gun depression on these vehicles. Now, I decided I don't want to drive out that way in case people on the sniping hill across the map take shots at me if I get spotted. So instead, I'm going to come around this way with a lot of our heavy tanks. So I do want to stay fairly close to my team. Got the premium loaded, don't really need it for him. Try blind shot. Now, at this point, I just want to get as much damage as possible. Now, winning will be nice, but I'm not expecting to be able to affect the outcome of this game too much by myself. Now, what I was trying to do is I'm trying to do my best not to get spotted. Now, there is no artillery, which does help quite a bit. So, I'm going to run to this rock to have me from the hell, knowing that if I get spotted, I can stay here. And artillery, there's no artillery to hit me. I get to the boss. Don't spot anyone. So I'm going to wait for binoculars to go up first. And at this point, I am expecting a lot of them to be up on that hill, since not many people being spotted. Now, if you're on the far side of the map to the right, and there's the first guy spotted on the hill, and would you believe it, it's a top-tier heavy tank. Now, I've got side shots at him. Now, which means as long as I don't hit his spaced armor, I should be able to pan. The other terrible thing about this gun, apart from the penetration, is the fact that its AP is premium, which means you don't even get any extra shell velocity from it. Mario Breaker at the other side of the map, which is fine. Not going to complain about that in the slightest. And to be fair, there's the issue with this kind of matchmaker, when your stock is, I have to rely on my top tier tanks to kill their top tier tanks. I don't like that, if I had the, the good 17 pounder, I could at least kill the top tier tanks myself. And, it is a team game, so when your team does good stuff, it's great, but in World of Tanks, let's be honest, you can't rely on your team to do stuff, even if they're top tier. Now you see I'm waiting because I know I can't pen the front of the IS-3. Well, the stockade. Now, 
Now, King Dragon's quite a well-armored medium, in fact, very well-armored medium tank, to be fair. Uh, do get a shot to the back of him. Damage his engine. Another shot. So, the penetration on this gun isn't bad, it's just bad for when you have to fight tier 8, which is exactly what I got here. Um, still a decent gun, fairly accurate, seems to hit pretty well. And now my worst fear showed up. It's an Oham. I got one shot in kind of through the side, I think. And you're going to see I keep firing because I thought I was able to pen him through the front there. So I don't know if I overmatched his um, end or something. Which I wouldn't have thought I would have been able to do with a gun of this caliber. Trying to see if by shooting down onto that angle plate if I can pen it. But I don't think I can by the looks of things. Tiger 2 does finish off the Oho, which is great for me. Darth gets killed by the Mauerbracker. And I'm, I don't want to get spotted as the light tank's coming up, so I've started backing up. And the Emilek took care of him. Now I get spotted. I only get a critical hit there. At this point, I've already fired most of my pre around, so I don't really care at this point. I just want damage, so I'm going for it. Now, something to say is, what I know from later, is that Charioteer is also not fully upgraded, might be stock. I think he's got the Carnarvon's 230 Alpha the old Carnarvon gun, 230 Alpha, 226 Pam. The difference is, his stock gun is alright, because he's top tier. My stock gun definitely is not when there's like an Oho and a Mauerbracker on the field. Barnacle blind shots. And lo and behold, the Mauerbracker shows up on full health. I don't know if that can really do against him. I don't have any premium rounds left, but even if I did, the premium rounds can't go through the front of him. I don't think I can pen his lower plate. I don't think I can pen his capola. I can't pen him through the turret. The only way I'd be able to pen it would be to get round him. So we're now down a lot of tanks, so... Again, as I said, I've already given up on the possibility of winning this. But... I can still try and get some damage. I'm going to have to go help my teammate here with T3485M. Yeah, and I can see him, but I quite clearly can't. Now, Charity is someone I can pan. Unfortunately, there's a rock back there he's hiding behind. And T-345M's about to come back out. I've just realised our stockade has died, and the Marabrek is in front of me. Now I get spotted, it's from behind. Type 68, you see the turret traverse is horrible. I missed that shot, and that shot could have been different between me surviving this and dying here. So if I hit that first shot, this next shot would have killed them. Unfortunately, I do die. So, I'll skip to the end of the battle for you. This is just our meal left. Um, Marbrek shows up, still on full hit points. It's not ideal. As I said, like, if you're going to be stock, like, can I not at least just be top tier? Or, at the very least, if you're going to make me bottom tier, don't put super heavies on the enemy team. That would help too. But I just thought I was a shit out of luck for this game, but... Despite that, I lost 7k silver, uh, 2600 damage, which is very respectable for a stock tank in, t in a bottom tier game. And 5600 XP for a loss ain't that bad. So I see I did the most damage on my team, the Charioteer. I did the second most damage on both teams, just behind the Charioteer. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.